and I believe that we are live. Uh, unfortunately, things are taking some time right now. The other team is waiting on their last person. So, hopefully they're going to be joining soon. Starting the stream. So, you know, hopefully it catches up within a reasonable amount of time. So, uh, today is the first day of NECC Valorant. It's going to be week one. Every Monday, we're going to have a best of three game against another school. Today, it is against IW. <laughs> I'm a WU Academy. And the maps for today are Haven first, Ascent second, and if it goes to a third map, it'll be Pearl. Uh, Haven and Ascent, pretty common maps, safe picks, a lot of people just like it. Very, is very much a safety pick for, for a lot of people. And we've seen, we've seen, uh, during activate, during the two activation weeks, Husky Gaming Black, uh, definitely performed on Haven with their aggressive gameplay. So we're gonna have to see what they do today. They're starting on defense. So, they definitely could get into, get into a roll early on. If they get that, uh, if they get that momentum going to the, into the attack half, they could sweep the first map again, just like just like the last two Haven games. We are still waiting on their last player. Any day now. <laughs> That's right. They definitely, they definitely should have uh, have started a bit earlier, getting getting their stuff together. Hopefully, this uh, this serves as a a learning experience for them. Okay. We we have we have continued delay. <laughs> We're we call it Husky the Husky are barking for a forfeit. Many woofs are being woofed. Person has joined. And it looks like the game is starting right away, straight into it. All right. Game one, Haven. Fast picks on the IWU attacker side. I'm going to call them the IWU. Fast picks on Husky Gaming side, too. Okay. And they're going with Fade. Now, now in professional play, Fade has definitely seen a decline in use recently. But if it is, you know, if it's, if it's a pick they feel comfortable with, and it looked like, definitely looked like they felt comfortable the last two weeks. So it should be, it's probably a safe bet. Uh, IU, IU <laughs> is going double, uh, Initiator? I think I think that's what they're called. Double initiated in Sylvan KO. So they're gonna have a lot of a lot of util. And really they're really sitting on that last person. The same one that joined late. 
things. Select your this. Oh, they hovered jet with ten seconds left. Maybe they're one, they're just communicating on on what duels to pick. And they do they do select jet yeah. now. I believe I believe that the sky pick has. has I, uh, in in recent pro play, the sky pick has been much more favored over the rest, but I think that's probably just optimal play and doesn't really represent the average game. That probably won't. That's probably not too much of an issue. Oh, and two people, Mars and Gaming View on Husky Gaming, have matching crosshairs. No matching crosshairs on Iwu's side. And they are... They're not doing anything. It looks like they're just talking, waiting. Husky Gaming goes... Saved alone on C. Probably gonna use that wall to... To delay if need be. Looks like a fast rain to push into sewers. Probably not going to get anything because they're not even looking. They're looking mid, so they're going to try to go through grass or look for a pick early in the round. Astra smoke or Astra star is getting there. placed. That KO knife goes up. It's nothing. Some spray. That indicator sees most of them. Sovadark doesn't get anything. Too sitting in the window now. Sage is going to have a full option. Oh, a fast pickoff. But Rain is coming from behind. And this... And that's a... That's one. Despite it's planted. But that's another one in Garage. A trade. Three on three. This could still go either way. Shots being fine. They know that one of their sees. Misses the shots. But Game of Guild picks up a third on KO. They know that... Ooh, sprays are coming down. This is going to be a hard one. And they're just, just getting in the way. But the spike diffuser killed. Rain is pushing up through this smoke. Flanking the bolts. And the defense in an ace at the same time. What a good way to start the game. Last last round. Frenzy, too. Get, gets that kill. And that zero, zero bullets. And, and she is dancing. She knows what she just did. Probably talking about how that was her last bullet. And that that pistol round is gonna put put some put some wind in their sails. Now, on the defender side, you have two see two people get out going with the stinger, and that is definitely the meta pick now. Uh I think the I think meta dictates that the Losing side also should probably get stingers because they're just that good. So the drones out sewer sees nothing. Two on C, single, single KO or Killjoy on A. Vacuum K is gonna watch this garage and get gonna get stuck. Not much he can do. Try to get some damage off, but that's just not nothing he can really do. The sage flow is gonna keep, but they're pushing out. Ooh, he's Omen. That's a free kill, and they're gonna have, they're gonna have a stinger now. This is a three on five already. The spike's not getting planted. They're definitely, they're taking their time. Make sure everything's clear. Mars is gonna start pushing up. Doesn't check CT spawn. Sova is not looking. Sova is watching from behind. Rain, oh, an, an unskilled headshot, but Sofa's behind them, and they don't know. Just gonna try to get some picks with that Marshall. Ooh. Misses the shots, and you hate to see it. Now, that was, that was supposed to be their, their extra round. But, looks like for the most part, they have money to buy again. Or, they have money to buy for the third round. And it looks like the attacker side is just going to keep coasting off of that win for the most part, using the guns they got, saving money. So Husky Gaming really wants to win this round or 
the money the money situation definitely get away from them. It's gonna look like go for a fast pick. Sees him. Ooh, commits to it. Going aggressive. She's got that eye. Oh, Killjoy gets picked off, and nothing is going. They're just gonna get. They're just gonna go up sewers, and there's no one there. And the marshal, and there's just too much firepower. And it's back to a 3v5 again. Killjoy's sitting in spawn, watching for the flank. And a fast pickoff right out of the smoke. And that's two. And Vacuum Decay brought this back within winning range very quickly. Omen goes down. Sage goes down. And Vacuum Decay misses those last few shots. And that's going to be a unfortunate round to lose. Out of charges. Killjoy played super passively in, in T spawn. So doesn't get a doesn't get a pick up of Vandal, but has enough money to buy. And this is, the economy is really, really out, uh, really in the favor of the attacker's side now. And it looks like the defenders, Husky Gaming is still gonna go with Stingers. They're gonna try to, they're gonna try to win on a forced buy. And this is an interesting choice. And they're just rushing up sewers. They get, they get paranoia, and they're just going for it. They're just spraying. They're trying to be tricky, and they all just get picked off one by one. And there's just nothing they can do. And that was... That was a serious misplay. They tried to be tricky, but... Now they just have nothing. They, they really... And it looks like they're trying to buy again. This is... This is not good. The attacker's calling a time out. Interesting choice. They're kind of icing themselves here. They have all the momentum. But. But you wonder what they're talking about. Now. This is definitely bad for the defenders. They should probably, they should probably just save here. Buying is is. Probably not what they want to do because they're way behind on money. They're just trying to they're just trying to snake around. And someone crashed. <laughs> someone crashed and they took a timeout instead of a instead of a tech timeout. And more more PC issues. So we're gonna have we're gonna have a, a technical timeout here. They should just pause the game timer. Oh, and they paused the game timer while the timeout was active. And that might mess up things as we are seeing the timer going to the negatives. Now, now this is this is uh this is the problem with people not reading the rules. Um this is all stated in the NECC rulebook. Always, always read the terms and conditions. They are legally binding. <laughs> this, uh, this is not legal advice. I am not a lawyer. <laughs> anyway, it, so okay, the reconnect, reconnect is. Come out. So it looks like the game might be starting again soon. So Husky Gaming got that first pistol around, but they let it slip on the second round that they should have won. And the fourth by on the third and fourth round really puts them in money problems. And if they keep buying every round, they're gonna they're just gonna be stuck with half shields. I definitely think saving is the right call in in this situation. They should probably just take commit commit to the save, except that they might lose the round. Go to go to one four and then just make sure they can buy. They they really it looks like after that after that sewer hard sewers push with all stingers, they might have it looks like they might either use that round to to try to reset their mental, just do something kind of funny. But 
they they definitely need to they definitely need to to take a deep breath, reevaluate how things are going because they're really betting it all on they're betting it all on this round. Everyone's basically spending their whole their whole money situation. And another default play mid. Kale Flash gets out, does nothing. That's over dark. Ooh! Kale all into B. And they're gonna push up. Shots are coming. Omi gets two. One being the Kale. The Kale all is down. And they're all sitting mid. Jet gets a good pick off onto the rain. The smoke's out, and they're gonna be retreating. They're leaving KO to die. And what are they doing? They're gonna just they're they're just still sitting mid. They they gotta get that spike, they gotta figure out something. And they're straight through the smoke and they get they get open down, and it's become a 3v3. They do not shoot the dart, they let it be seen, and they push up in they push up and get the spike and retreat in the cover of that smoke. And that Fade Eye sees nothing, and they're gonna go Garage. They hear him Garage, so is, is Sage gonna call the C, or are they just... They're gonna play slow. That's right into the Jet line of sight, and that's not good. You need to check your corners there. And this has gone bad. This has gone from a 5v3 to a 2v3. Vacuum Decay just slow reflexes. Hildred goes... And this is taking too long. This is wasting time. This is just a delay. Either needs to get out, rotate, or something. Gets a pick. Does eight bullets. They're watching garage. They know exactly where they are. Recon darts. Or, <laughs> Recon dart spots him, and they know. And he's just gotta run. And this that was an unfortunate round. Oh. Spots him, but gets taken out by the spike at the very last second. That is unfortunate for them. But the money... That was a costly round for both sides, and... Husky Gaming is still on those weird buys. Not having full... Not having full buys. But the plant and the round win for the attacker side... For Iwu has been I mean that, that got them all the money they needed. Most of the kills stacked on two people, but everyone's doing their job. They're playing a very default heavy game, looking for picks that Killjoy. That Killjoy is always watching the flank every single round. You have to appreciate the commitment to just doing nothing. <laughs> That could be misses his shots, and that's not good. They... And they're pushing up in the site slowly. Gets flashed. The swarm grenade not doing much. And the push around. The quick pick off on Jet, but gets taken out from the side. Omen gets one with the Marshall. Killjoy's far back. And Husky Game has got to push out here if they want to get anything done. But with two marshals, it's going to be hard. Their best bet might just be to try to grab these vandals and save, maybe. But they're going for it. And that Sova dart. And the Sova ult gets them. Doesn't watch long. And that's a pickoff. A little bit of a wasted Sova ult. But that round definitely did not... It's not... Things are not going... In the in the favor of Husky Gaming, and it looks like they've all they're all being they're all buying. They all have enough money to buy because Gaming Doom has been using those marshals exclusively. We're not seeing a buy for Swig Swag. They have the money, but we're not. They're not getting a buy. Ain't been some miscommunication issues. Ooh, the fast fade off. Misses hits one. Over there. A pig on B, and they're out of position. And this is bad. The fast plant onto A, or onto B. Opens, opens a little. Opens gonna try to, gonna try to do something, but gets picked off right away. 
and they're just out of position to, and to spawn. Man. They're on the back foot, they can try to get pick off, but it's fun, but what can they do? A second one, and they're just trying to get picks. It just gets peeked out. And I think it's pretty fair to say that the Husky Gaming Mental is on life support right now. You don't want to say it, but their mental has, has definitely fallen apart, and it, it seems like communication isn't really there. They're, they're just kind of playing whatever. They're force buying it throughout. They have no money. They definitely. Uh, I don't. I don't know if they can come back from this. This is the first time that momentum has been on their side, and it and it definitely looks like they haven't been preparing for that. But vacuum decay could get one with the buffing here. Misses most of the first shot, but catches the jet. So that's going to be a good first kill. Getting one is still good here. Gimme is going to look for a pickoff. And a good shot! See, Lon, but misses the second one. Omen tries to get something, but just goes down. Him super low, but I... A just quick spray could do this. Spike planted. Astra peeks and gets taken down, and this is all. And a spray through the boxes, and the double from Killjoy. Weeks. Go down that Thank you. they almost had that round, but just let it split. Ah, they really need to time, they need to take a time out, get their bearings, figure out what they're doing. Everything is falling apart. It, it they just look like they don't know what's going on. It look it looks like they're doing this this A push again. Killjoy Killjoy watches spawn watches for the flank and they all just fast fast push A. And it looks like they Husky Gaming is kind of like this. It looks like there's a bit of a read here. And Open pushes in the smoke and gets one. And this could be good. This could be the turn they needed. Oh, but Jet picks off one. Astra pushes out, gets a second. But the check got overcome and pushed into heaven. And this is bad. This could be bad for the attacker's side. It's a three on three, but they're all out of vision. And the spray through the smoke, and the push, the one, the smoke gets two of them, and that's the spike down. And unless Killjoy really clutches up here, this is the first round that Husky Games won in a while. Since round one. And a good shot. Aim on point for Gamer Legume here. Now, that was a good round. That was a really good round to win. They're gonna have they're actually gonna have full buys here. For the most part. They have the money. Someone could buy Mars. But this is gone. I mean, look at the look at the kill spread for Husky Gaming. It's very, it's all loaded on to Gamer of Doom, and you don't want to see that. It means people's aim is not, people, people aren't really woken up right now. So, it's going to be interesting to see if that round gave them the, vacuum to get, just caught by everything, just sprays. One through the, through the door, and another Jet pushes up and gets taken down, and that's going to be really good. And maybe that round is exactly what they needed to get them on to get them on track. Maria hits some shots, doesn't take any. The paranoia, but no follow-up. They know they're there. The teleport, and Killjoy sees it, but pushes up and gets taken down. Good communication. Pushes at the same time. And I think they know they know where Sova is, and they're watching their corners. And Peterson gets taken down by Game of Doom, and that's what you like to see. So it looks it looks like that round win, even though it was late. Put some put the win back in their sails. Started brought their brought their mental back up, 
and I can definitely beat. That could be a turning point here. Now, it might have might have been better if they had taken a timeout because it doesn't look like they're going to. You get one timeout. Each team gets one timeout per half. So, unless things start, unless this round goes bad for them, ooh, get Jet Jet's saving and goes with the knives. And it looks like they're pushing. For, they're pushing fast into grass again, and they're gonna look to go garage. They get everything on Sage, but they don't push into the flash quite fast enough. Oh! And the fast push gets the spray on back in the window. And the jet jumps up and hits her shots. Now this is this is how a round goes bad. They're just stuck. They know where both of them are, and they're just They're just cornering them. There's nothing they can do, and they can't, they're gonna have to push. And hits the Sova, but hits behind the door just in the frame. It's a good pick, but it's not enough. And Killjoy doesn't look like there's much Killjoy can do. They know what's happening, but falls, gets that, gets that aim, uh, aim prop, uh, fighting. <laughs> gets the, gets the aim, uh, uh, okay. My my mind just died there. All right. Anyways, last round and a half. It's either gonna be nine three or eight four. Uh, you want to see you want to see four, but nine three curse is it's a real thing. Maybe throw get the nine three curse should not do that. I hope they don't. But Kildare setting up on B, doing this. They're doing this A side push again, and it looks like now they have not gone. They did not go C a single time. They did not push C. They've gone A with oh a pickoff, a pickoff on the kill, A long. Sovan and Ashtar are pushing out. Jet is looking. Jet is B. And they see that B is completely empty. Sofa is so far out of position. But, oh my gosh, the Sova. Sofa waits and picks, it's a pick off just in time. Jet turns around. And this has gone bad very quickly. The over rotate onto A. The plan hasn't happened yet. Oh, and a, an pick. And that brings it within winning distance. Now they're gonna push up. And they're pushing up aggressively. The Sofa Dark gets Omen at least. And their spraying gets a little damage, but nothing, nothing good. Nothing concrete. And it looks like they're gonna try to make something happen here. Ooh! The Ashes Stun. It's half. Gets one pick. They see him, but this. Ooh, goes, has to just go for the, the defuse, but gets picked off. And now this is this what is not sense? great. Going into the going into the attacker side nine three, off the back of two rounds lost. Now they they gotta want to they're gonna want to win this pistol round because the momentum could definitely be could definitely be out of their favor here. Going into the defender's side with that momentum, and they might be playing aggressive, looking to get those uh, those one v ones, the fast peaks, the entry frags. It looks like Jet Jet's probably feeling themselves. They've been they've been hitting some shots, so it looks like Jet might push fast into sewers and try to get a pick with the frenzy. It looks like. But fast reactions put Jet down, and this is Gun here. this is fast. This is gone. Ooh, Kale. Kale gets pinged. Sova pushes right into the crosshairs, and that frenzy doing work stares directly at the flash. But the whole team is here, and that Kale tries to do something, but can't be a hero. It's down to a 2v4 for the defender side now. 
And they push up. Ooh! That is just some amazing frenzy play. Another ace, just like... Just like the pistol round on... On the, the defender side for Husky Gaming. That's two pistol rounds, two aces. Maybe, maybe Game of Doom should just stick with that frenzy exclusively. Don't, probably not, but... Definitely, you, you definitely like to see that. But look at that, look at that spread of kills. That is an unfortunate situation for Husky Gaming. 20 and 9, everyone else going negative. This has all been Game of Doom so far. And the rest of the team's gotta wake up if they wanna if they wanna be able to take this. Fade trying to get something done, garage. No, looks away. Oh, looks away just at the wrong time. You hate to see it. They're trying to push through smoke. But the rotation is happening. Killjoy nades, Astra sucks. Everything's hitting them, and they just get pulled. Oh my gosh, that went terribly so fast. They just got hit by all the utility at the same time in that push into C. And this is... It doesn't look like... It doesn't look like that pills around helped their mentality too much. <sighs> this might be... This might end up being a pretty fast game. But it's not over till it's over. Still rounds. Still rounds to go. And Husky Gaming is by. They're forcing this by, trying to get something to happen here. Jed is pushing out into sewers again, and this could be... Oh, Gamer Lagoon gets a pick off C. With the Vandal, that's a good buy. Made it worthwhile. They see Sova. They no one's watching the sewers. Jed gets some damage, but doesn't get a pick. And it looks like they're just playing slow. No one's... They gotta watch that flank. Game of you missing all of her shots, but Killjoy missing hers too. The classic. Oh, this is bad. Kill looks for play on the flank. Oh, but sees him. Oh, gets two in the back. But the spike wasn't there, and they're gonna get a free plant on to C, making it a 3v3. Interesting plant location. You generally don't see that. Usually. You're either going to be planting right here so you can watch along, or along here if you're if you're trying to play safe. But looks like looks like they're trusting their long range A here, and Game of Doom is out of position with. Yeah, he's got to get a got to get a pick to to run out. Kale pushes it. Mars misses too. Oh, and Fade pushes up and just doesn't get the shots. And it looks like they were just playing a bit too aggressively on that plan. The defenders get the defuse just in time. And if Vacuum Decay didn't push up, they might have gotten that. Maybe a miscommunication. Maybe he just got a bit too aggressive. Thought he could get something done. But it's now an 11 to 4, and that was a four spy. So unless Husky Gaming really does some work here and attack, it's gonna be a 12-4. A 12-4, not a good comeback position. Anything's possible, but the way the way that Husky Gaming's been playing, it doesn't look like they're all on their game, and it doesn't look like their mental's all there either. There. Sees Jet. Jet misses the first shot. Feels her position. And they're pushing up fast. They're pushing up. Don't do something on Ego and get a fast pick. This is the sh this is the classic shots. KO Alt does go out, so they're gonna try. They're gonna try to delay that plant. Reyna's playing cheeky. Sees him. That's a free pick on Astra. But that KO Alt is stopping her from getting out. The orb goes down, but Killjoy pushes out. Does not One enemy does not run away from it, but ooh, Jet's getting Jet's getting those picks, but this is looking good for Omen. 
Sees the dash out. Ooh, and the nice stinger play with the, with the turret. Gets him a thrifty win. And that brings it to 5 to 11. Now, IWU Academy can all buy. They're going to be buying here. So Husky Gaming's definitely got to win this. It looks like Jet is, Jet is two charges away from the, that alt. So probably going to look to look to get some arms. Ooh, Game of Doom is going to fight this op. Doesn't know it's there. She's not eyeing. And the op takes her down. But Vacuum Decay gets one. Gets the Sova pick. That Sova keeps picking a long... Peeking a long. And it did not. And it... Gets the eye off. And it hits the KO. Sees them all. They know what's happening. Omen pushes up, but not quite enough. Ooh, and shots are being missed. And this has gone bad. It's now down to a 2v3, and Jet still has that op, but the attackers do get away with the spike. And it looks like they're going to be going towards C. They're going to go through your rod, and they, if they just run, they can make this. They'll, they'll have more than enough time. Jet is really anchoring on that A site. The wall, the wall towards spawn to delay, to delay the push onto site. They're getting the plant. Not, not a great plant position. That's a really weird plant position, and that might come back to haunt them. They're both watching garage. They hear, they hear them. They hear the step. Gets one, misses, misses the second, but it gets picked up. Now, Jet does have an op. <laughs> should not, should not be peeking this Jet. Should just play for time. Should not be spraying. You did not hear the diffuse. What are you doing? You need to leave. And that's not, that's leaving way too late. I'm gonna get taken down. And that's a round win, but the plant. And gets a plant, but everyone goes down. So nope. No guns taken over to the next round, but it's still good. Their economy's not hurt too much, and they can all buy. And now, that's two rounds. That's two rounds in a row. Jet is... Jet did keep keep the op. Did not get the... Did not get her ult. So, this round... This round is gonna... Gonna make a huge difference. Game of Doom is peeking it again against the op and gets out just in time. It keeps keeps fighting this. Should not peek again without that eye. And she does it just watching a couple bullets and gets out in time. Very smart gameplay. <laughs> smart, smart to not fight the op. That that's the aggressive play, but maybe. Maybe that uh maybe that bodes well for their for their mental. Please, They're able to play fear. passive. The fade out onto site gonna miss all of them. And the killjoy util coming out. Raina gets onto site. The second the second grenade do it work. Aster and KO are flanking. <sighs> Looks like two crafters, one coming out of CT. The Sova all one of rafters, they know. Are they gonna But they can't do anything? A bit too late. Jet got one with the op, and Jet's gonna have her all. Kale got one from the flank. The flanks are doing work, and the last one, under, gets one. Gets a second, oh! And just doesn't have time to get the dismiss and bust down. And they're gonna be able to buy. They're probably gonna be able to buy next round, but this is 6. It's 6 12. It is game point. Match point. Match point. Now everyone, everyone is gonna buy up. It looks like for the most part, the defender side is going to have enough money to get four, three weapons. Three, okay. 
three, three full buys, and then two are gonna eco. Now those are for the most part buys that are carried over from last round. Ooh, Maria gets a pick with the gets a pick with the Aries on the C. Mars gets a pick, and this could this could go super well. That extra smoke trying to delay him, but they're pushing on the site. And this could be all vacuum decay here. Misses the shots on Soap, but knows he's there. there. Here's the op. Here's the op shot. Jet. Oh, another pick with the Aries. Vacuum decay goes down garage. And this jet is gonna do. This jet's gonna try to do work with knives. Oh my gosh! Misses some. One enemy remaining. The Aries. The Aries gets a third. Gabriel Lagoon picks off the last one into garage, and that's that might be. They're gonna have to. It looks like a four spy coming out from the defenders. They've got a round advantage, so they could all save. And it looks like that's what they're going to do instead. Now, unfortunately, Husky Gaming, the attackers, are going to have to keep buying it. So they gotta, they got to take around and have most of their team live. The eye out C long might be scared for that, uh, for that op, but it's not there this round. Now, all, f all five... Ooh! Hale pushes up window and gets one. The flash? Gonna flash two, but no push up with it. Oh! And they all... The defenders all push up fast, and they... Husky Gaming is trapped here. They're gonna try to get this kill. They teleport out, falling back on the goop for help. They don't have the spike. They gotta do something here. Last player standing. Tries to do some sneaky omen play and it gets taken down. And this is gonna be a 1v3. We're gonna have to see if Gamer Lagoon can clutch up. Definitely has the kills to prove she can. And that's one! A bit of a slow reaction, but... It's now 1v2 and Jet is at half health. Two shots from this two left. shots from this vandal could do it. Dinks one. Has to get a fast has to Oh! And they line up and they both go down in the 3v1 clutch from Game of Doom does it and keeps them in this game. Bringing it to a 12-8. The slow crouch, he is definitely popping off. Fist bumps all around. That is what you like to see. The rest of the team's not having a great game, but they are falling. They are getting that that gamer lagoon deadlift right now. And she looks like she's gonna peek out C again, looking for another pick, and she's been doing this every round. Oh, but the ops, A Long gets one. And this quickly become a 4v5 with nothing going on for Husky Gaming. Gamer Lagoon could push out C. It's free. They run into KO. And they know KO's watching mid. Gamer Lagoon pushing up. Gets gets the gets all the killjoy utility except that last swarm grenade. And it, C is gonna be open. They're gonna get this plant down for free. And they gotta take up. A defensive position. KO alt comes out. And Pete just watching it gets taken down by the out. And that's not good. That's Gamer Doom has been most of their work. Fire. The rest of the team's gonna have to gonna have to carry. Picked off through the box, and the last two are gonna be playing C long. Not ready yet. Killjoy alt's gonna go down. But KO pushes, gets taken down. But the last one is defusing. The fuse, the fuse is it's diffused just in the nick of time. And that is a 13-8. IWU Academy takes the first map. Un that's an unfortunate. Unfortunate for Husky Gaming, but it looked like they might have started getting a little bit 
little bit into it towards that towards the end that now that was Husky Gaming's pick. So because that was Husky Gaming's pick, they're going to go into the second map and it's going to be on Ascent and I think you IWU Academy is going to have the momentum for the first map win. And they're going to go into their preferred map. Husky Gaming starting defender side again. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do on Ascent. They're going to be taking a five minute break. So I'm, so I'm just going to say five minute break. Go get some water. Do what you need to do and be back in five minutes. I should have a timer set up for this. All right, five minutes. All right, be right back. All right, I am personally back. Game hasn't started yet. Uh, I don't want to go. Don't want to go in the BC. Don't want to. 
don't want to disrupt their, their post-game rituals and pre-game rituals. Probably, you know, they might be might be taking a minute, telling each other to deep breaths. Definitely, definitely, kind of. I don't, I don't count as part of the game. No, yeah, okay. There we go. So they definitely, they definitely had some good rounds on the attacker side. Maybe I think if they started the, if they started the attacker side, I think they might have, they might have had a chance to win that game. They're definitely an aggressive team which benefits the attacking side over the defensive side. But if Game Magoom shows up again, because, oh boy, did she show up. Uh, it could definitely, it could definitely still go their way. Uh, now... Um, let's see, are they gonna they about to start the game? Prism is in uh in the range. Calling for readies, calling a ready check. Prism, the same person who was very late <laughs> is now Holding up the game. <laughs> All right, it looks like everyone's ready. And so we're going to go into map two, Ascent. Let's get him down. Down by one map. Haven did not go their way, but they showed some. They showed some. Uh, they showed some energy on the attacking side on on Haven. So maybe, maybe they're maybe they're getting into the swing of things. Maybe they just needed some warm up. Third map is Pearl. Now the this the this Husky Black team is known for loving Pearl. <laughs> Uh, specifically because it is not Lotus. Alright, so. IWU Academy is going for the Astra. Astra instead of Omen for Smokes on Ascent. Either is totally good. The Fade KO instead of the Sova KO again. So I think they, I think they're looking for that eye to get info over those uh, to get info over walls along the 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 I think it's B, I think it's B site. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're seeing we're seeing some neon. We're seeing neon and rays. Game of Goom is playing KO now instead of Reyna, which is an interesting an interesting switch up since she popped off on Reyna last game. So it's gonna be interesting to see what she can do on KO with those flashes. Now, Husky Gaming is going Brim Smokes, which is which is pretty pretty unique for Asan. You don't see that very often. Neon can do a lot here. Now it looks like most of most of Husky Gaming's defensive game plan is going to be focused around trying to rotate between sites, figuring out figuring out what is going on, where the pushes are coming, and just getting those fast rotates. Because you really need you really need Brim to get ranked for those smokes. You really need. Neon to be able to just start sprinting as soon as possible. Now, Neon is playing a weird 
No, 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 you. They are defender side. There appears to be a miscommunication. I'm going to try to fix this real quick. Uh, you guys are on fence. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, some miscommunications. Everyone is dumb. <laughs> People do not know what's going on. Okay. Nyan is playing mid. Fast fade, fast stuff, B. So it looks like they're gonna look for, look for the push B. Get some picks, mid. Ooh, the raise grenade's gonna get one. But the Killjoy alarm bot and the Frenzy are gonna do work. Killjoy's out of position, gets taken down, but Brim gets a second one and brings it down to a 3v2. But their Killjoy, again, flanking super far out of position. They're gonna need to push sooner rather than later, or that Killjoy is gonna show up in time. Gets the flash and they see one, but doesn't look it. Sage gets one, doesn't know where the second or third one, third members of that team are. Ooh, but the fade spots, fade spots him, and and it's gonna, it's looking all a long swarm, a long swarm grenade. From from pizza to site directly onto the plant, and they they have their uh, they have their lineups. It definitely looks like this Killjoy has been practicing their lineups, and that could that could turn bad for Husky Gaming. Don't know yet, but it looks like that's probably why why they've been playing that super defensive flank. Because they know that they can just throw up some sick lineups. Now this KO knife might catch one. Gets destroyed, but that might be enough information. The Brimstone is doing a fast rotate. The Fade Eye is botched. Astro Stars are on A, though. Brim is playing slow, just in range, to try to get that smoke. Neon's watching mid. Might get something on Killjoy. No, looks away. The steps are heard. The steps are heard A-long, and things are going to start happening. Raise grenade. And they don't... They don't look... And that's... One... No, not a second! And the shots are missed, and they push out just in time. And this Killjoy... Killjoy is on the flank. And this, this looks all on the side of IWU. And the Frenzy just too far. Can't do much at that range. They just get taken down. Now that was, that was second round. That was, uh, that was a full save, I believe. So Husky Game on the defensive side is going to be able to be able to buy it. First two rounds don't mean a whole lot. Game can go either way after this. Got some picks. So there, there is some money on the side of Husky. Here. They're not. Ooh, they're all on light shield except for Vacuum Decay with that stinger. The KO. The KO knife gets four. Nothing with the Guardian, but they know they're there. And they got it. Bre Breach. Or <laughs> Brimstone is going for that pizza smoke again. The Sage Wall. For the delay, he <laughs> Sage does not know where to look. <laughs> the Fade Eye has caught two, and they're just breaking down the wall, taking their time, playing slow. Fade still throwing you two, and now they're rotating out. This is going to be a good setup for if Game of Lagoon can hit these shots. Ooh, a good pick from Brimstone. Launching smoke. They're gonna. It looks like they're gonna peek here. Misses the guarding shot. Ooh, peeks out. Gets picked by the vandal. And the only one left on A is Sage, who's pushing out. And A is empty. A is completely empty. And this is gonna go down to Neon. It, it's gonna be up to Neon to see if through the smoke. 
A slide there would have done it, but just doesn't get in time. That is another one. And it's a 4v3. KO is very low, so it could still... It's still winnable. But it's not a good location, especially with that stamp. Breach! Their frame gets too fast. One enemy remaining. Oh my gosh! And they get a third. And the last one's out of position, but no one's watching heaven! No one's watching heaven! Last player standing. But they still get it anyways! Oh my gosh! That could have gone so badly. So Kildo gets two, not paying attention. But doesn't doesn't get the third. And they in Husky Gaming pulls that round. Frankly. Frankly, pulls it out of a magic hat. That was a round they probably should not have won. But those are some good picks from Rhea on the Brimstone. Looks like she might be the one waking up. It seems like that KO pick is not favoring Lagoon, who did go for the Guardian. Maybe thought she could get some headshots, but nothing really happened. Suppressing. Fast KO Knife gets nothing. But Neon is here. Neon sees the Fade Dog. Sees what's happening. Raze gets a pick mid. Yeah, Raze gets a pick mid. Ooh. Does not know how the how the Neon Wall works, I guess. Ooh. The push and gets a pick. And they're going to be pushing tree fast. Someone's got to watch. Vacuum BK gets one. Sage just get any and it's a 2v3 but Maria is sitting on that alt the plant and the alt directly on him gets some damage doesn't get a kill but Graves is super low Ostra is hit Kale's within range and they push off they push out with Astra tries to go into Astra form and gets picked off Astra form and that's smoke's gone. And she's gonna stick it. Sticks it to half. And there is not a second swarm grenade. And push and Maria hits another great shot. Now it, Maria wasn't showing up as well that last game, but she is all on board for Ascent. 8-3 by the fifth round. And that brings it to 2-2. Two, two. And the money situation. It looks like it looks like IW Academy is going to be mostly saving a light buy. And this could definitely put this could definitely get NIO on a snowball. Back in PK doesn't get any. The Sage Wall keeps them back for now. They know they're all on that B. They're, they're all on that B side. Killjoy is playing that heavy flank on A again. Both both Killjoys, a 1v1 on A. Ignoring their team. The Fade Eye gets shot down before catches anything. Fade all. Oh, and they just walk into those Stinger bullets. And that's two. And this very quickly went into NIU's favor. A heal on KO gets them back up to four. Now that knife is back up, but they're not watching. Oh! Walks right into the cheeky angle from Ray's. Now it's a 3v3. Maria is still up. So they got that breach. Watching mid and this this killjoy push could... Here's, here's steps. And the Peek at the perfect timing and gets the takedown. And this looks like it could all go NIU. Astra is one tap. Hilljoy is still on A, anchoring it. Now, two of them are on B, so this is all going to rely on Killjoy. But she has the turret. And that could be enough. That turret could take down Astra. The swarm grenade. Delay! Astra walks into it. No, Astra misses, but she gets the pick anyways. The perfect pick on timeout, and that is a defender win on timeout. But they still get all five of them anyways, and that was a good round for Husky Gaming to win. It was a save, but 
They have money now. And they're going to be able to buy this round and next round, even if they lose. Ooh, and the coach, the coach on IWU Academy is calling a timeout. So you know this is an executive timeout. They're going to take a deep breath, try to get their mental back up. They're probably a bit tilted after that round. They didn't. They weren't really checking their corners. Kind of got taken down by some things they they could have definitely avoided. Now, this game, much like last game, all the kills have kind of been focused on one player on Husky Gaming, which you don't like to see. But in this case, the utility using and the kills at the right time are making a difference. But Maria, her shots have been on point this game. Which you just love to see if you're a Husky Gaming fan. <laughs> Alright, and that is the timeout. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what happens after that time. Because it looks like things are going the same. They're not changing up their strategy at all. They're still doing that super far Kate Killjoy anchor. Watching for the flanks. And they have info. They know Fade is A. And that Fade Eye gets three. And that's going to be really good for the attackers. Ooh, Sage caught out of position and just taken down by the grenades and shots. And this is bad for us. Everyone's out of position. That Astral Wall is... Astral Wall is going to be doing work. Vacuum Decay almost gets one, but just misses his shot. And he gets pushed up off cat, and they're just getting taken down. Maria gets. Maria gets two! <laughs> the raise all from behind takes her down. Did not let her get. Did not let her cook. Looks like she was starting. Looks like she was feeling it that round. So if that if that raise didn't come from behind, I think I think that might have turned out a lot different. It's gonna be interesting to see what what Husky Game tries to do to adjust. They're playing Killjoy on B again, and it they're doing they're doing the three two, and it doesn't quite it doesn't quite look like they've read. A bad knife, but it gets destroyed. They know they're all beat anyways. KJ gets a peek, but they're pushing out. Phrase just goes past, and they don't turn on her. And this bad Maria is left on site alone. It's a 2v4. Two are low, but... This is all up to Maria. Gets one, but the double peek just does it. The res... Oh, and the wasted res trying to get it through the wall. Not quite. And goes down, and that's a bad round. Wasted. That's, I believe that's two alt. That's two alts used. The neon alt, the sage alt. Money-wise, it looks like Husky Games on the back foot now. That might have been that might have been a round that could have uh, could have changed the course of this game. They're playing three on A now, but I think they might have to they might have to work on fast rotating. They flanked right into that killjoy, which is exactly what the attackers were planning. And it's gonna be a two on five on a two on four on this site, and that boombot doesn't get anything. But with the frenzy, just can't can't finish. Vacuum decay tries to do something, but doesn't get anything done. Mars tries to do something, doesn't get anything done. Gambling Goom, they see Killjoy, but it's just standing. Gambling Goom gets a kill on KJ, but I mean, what do you, what can you do? Just gotta take. Really, you just gotta take a gun and save. You can't win this round. Gonna take that, gotta take that gun into the next round and just try to build up a little bit of money buffer. But she is running. She is running B. 
looking for a looking for an exit frag, but she doesn't she doesn't look mid. The fast the fast reflex, but the shot the shots just don't hit their mark, and that's gonna take the five three. But Husky Gaming can buy this round. Oh, and they call for a timeout. Probably wanna probably wanna try to ice ice IW. They start they start to feel themselves. Now, each round, each round, Husky Gaming has pushed directly into this killjoy. And that has cost them a lot of time and at least two players. And every every round has basically been a, a 2v4 or 3v4 on site. And they're fighting those, but they're they're at a disadvantage every time. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see what they're what they're gonna do here. By no means is this game over yet. This is still very much very much anyone's game. We've been seeing some good good aim from Maria, but the rest of the team not not showing up as much. And that might that might be the decider here. Just like just like the first game. Having all those kills on one person, you're you're really relying on the person to carry, and sometimes that's not. No matter how many kills they get, they're only one person. And now Killjoy is with her team on attacker side, and they're all going a fast a. The KO knife spots all of them. They they got a fast rotate. Sagewall goes up B, but that's not going to do anything. A little bit of delay, a little bit of delay A. Halo Knife comes out, spots Killjoy, and they're gonna start doing stuff. They're using the stuff, and they're pushing up. Missed the kill on KO. And Neon's gonna get there a bit too late. And they're they're doing what they can, and they're pushing up with Neon. Are they gonna hit Astra? They don't get Astra, and that went so poorly if they had just pushed through that a little earlier and gotten that extra kill all all things might have gone better but they just they just did not check those corners even if it's just even if it's just a couple shots you gotta make sure that those those angles are clear before you push in like that and that's bad they're out of money and it looks like they're force buying all, all players except Killjoy on IWU Academy are going to be at full money next round. And this is bad. They don't, they get one with the knife. And it looks like they're relying all on Maria here again. The Killjoy ult is going to hit Maria. To another ult? No counter! No counter ult from Game Room Game on the Killjoy. And switching guns keeps her taken down. And Maria's all alone back site, and there's just nothing she can do. And Sage is Sage is confused. CT spawn. Vacuum Decay tries to push up, gets one. Killjoy doesn't Killjoy doesn't get anything. Vacuum Decay gets a second. And they gotta push up, but they could do this. They gotta, they gotta push up. They're lost. They don't. They're wasting a lot of time here. And that's where we're gonna. gonna waste even more time. And he doesn't hit his shots. And this round is over. And that's gonna be seven three for IW Academy. And this game looks like it might be getting out of control for NIU. You hate to see it, but. Sometimes it just happens. After after that sixth round, when when IWU had called for that timeout, it seems like they they really kind of got got in the zone, and the the timeout for Husky just didn't do what they were trying to get it to do. And they force buying again. They're not even trying to go for the. Trying to go for the 8-4. They're just trying to force by and get anything. A solo push by Fade. 
baits the hard rotation. And this is an open A site for the attackers. And that's going to be super bad for Husky Gaming. No plant yet. And the slow plant is going to let him get... Going to give him time to show back up. Site. And Ray's... Ray's could... Ooh. Loses the 1v1. Vacuum Decay loses with the alt. And they know Ray's is there. But doesn't get the shot. And they just get picked off one by one. And Gamer Goom is stuck in a corner. They know where she is. And they are going to take her down. That's a flawless. An 8-3. And it looks like they're going to be another four spy where they can't all full buy. And if this goes anything like last round, it's looking like it's going to be another 9-3. Another didn't work out for him last time. They were able to do some. Yeah, they were. They were able to do some work on attack side on Haven, but the deficit was just too much, and they and they got taken. They they lost that game. So Husky Gaming really wants to win this. The knife gets to A. They're not going for the fast rotation. Maria's going to be looking for some picks mid. The three, three pushing mid. Fade. Molly. That Molly is going to delay him quite a bit. The Ares. Stim Beacon Ares. <laughs> Trying to get work done, but two get picked off. And they leave kill they leave Killjoy alone. Oh. Killjoy peaks, just not nothing gets done. And the last two are going through the main. And that's not going to be good. They're going to go through mid, but they don't see this fade here. And this fade is going to peek and pick get one. Oh! And just too much, too much firepower focused mid. Switching sides. And that's another 9 3 half for Husky Gaming. And this raise has been on fire this round. And they've, unfortunately, unfortunately, IWU Academy has just been reading Husky Gaming's every move. So it's going to be. We're, we're going to look for them to try to get something done on the attacker side. But it, they're they're lining up to go for that B push, but it's against a Killjoy. And on, on the pistol round, that pistol round Killjoy is very dangerous. That turret can get a lot of damage. Those swarm grenades can block you off a lot of the time. Nothing for the KO knife. Vacuum TA tries to get something done with the Sheriff, but gets taken down. And that turret is putting in work, and they're going... They're taking so much damage, the suck gets damage and a kill on two! Mars is alone and just gets taken down by that quick peek. And that's what... That's the problem. You can't... You, you just can't push into Killjoy on that pistol round. It looks like Husky Gaming. Husky Gaming is gonna have to really, really take a deep breath and get back into this. Gamer Lagoon going from top frag to bottom frag from game one to game two. Maybe that it looks like that KO pick just does not favor her. She likes to play aggressive. And KO just doesn't. KO doesn't have the aggression that she's looking for, like that Raina does. And it looks like if anything, if nothing else, they're gonna want to figure out a better team comp for Ascend. Nothing gets done. A defender C though. They're staying A, but with Astro Util there, and that's gonna be four people. That's gonna be four people on A. So this is gonna be. A, the Killjoy is anchoring. Launching smoke. So if they get this, if they get this Killjoy down, they're all going B. None of them are going mid, and that could be a problem. Going mid is the best way to avoid this Killjoy. And that turret. And both swarm grenades get. One swarm grenade gets taken down. The turret's still up, but they get through. And they're taking up this defensive position here. 
Ooh, a good pick. A good pick with the Marshall from Gabriel Goom. They know where two of them are. That Sage Wall. That Sage Wall blocking off. That can be K gets one with the Marshall. A hole in the Sage Wall. Another Marshall kill. Everyone's getting those Marshall kills. And it's a 2v4. And it doesn't look... They hear the steps. And the attackers take that. With a force spy on the second round. And maybe, just maybe, that could turn the tide. You never know what's going to happen, but each round matters. Every round, every kill makes a difference. Back in decay, showing off, uh, they, showing off their skins, showing off all the money they spent on Valor. <laughs> I'm out of here. Spike drop. They know fate is market. They don't know Killjoy's B yet. Vacuum Decay gets a pick off on Decay, and that's going to bring it to a 5v4. This hard flank by KO. They're pushing onto site. What are they going to do about Killjoy? Will they see Killjoy? Mars pushes into Killjoy and takes it down. And they've got a... F and they're all on site, bringing it to a 5v3. Ooh, the raise grenade taking him down, and Sage. Does Sage have heal? Sage has heal, but is not healing. You? Does? Looking around. Kojo turret spots one. The knife is gonna. And oh, look, they're all gonna be scouted, but it doesn't matter. They push into Game of Doom and she takes him down, and that's a 510. End of Philopolis! One more round. If they win this round, the money situation. The money situation is gonna be super in. And I use favor. And if they win this round, it could go up to a 7 10. Which they really want. It looks like Vacuum Decay is gonna be playing for that for another pick. His aim has really shown up these last two rounds. And he is hard peeking mid with no utility going. But it looks like the defender side is kind of scared of him now. It's going to be interesting to see if he stays on that flank or if he tries to go to his team. Nothing getting done here. The turret gets a little bit damaged but goes down. Vacuum Decay. Playing the long con. Walls up mid and goes back to his team. Gamer Lagoon gets one with the Sheriff, but that's two down. Three down. Vacuum Decay. Gets one. Gets a second one. The aim is on point. But can he do a two? Can he take this 2v1 with no health left? It's going to be hard. Raze is flanking. Raze's aim has been near perfect this game. Misses the spike. Thinks it's on the other side of the wall. Gets the great reaction time. Doesn't know where Raze is. Thinks raises spawn. Thirty seconds left. No. Oh, and pushes out just at the wrong time. He gets taken down, and almost a maybe four clutch, but just not, just not quite there. There. And NIU, NIU needs to win this next one. So we're going to match point. And even even if you're you're on a winning streak, that match point always messes with you. Quick peeks now. now it looks like it's like their raise is gonna go hard into A. Man with the boom bot. Vacuum K runs through the boom bot. But the grenade gets one. The plant goes down. Neon going to heaven. Gets another one with the ult. Going for a third. Doesn't get it, but gets out just in time. Doesn't get taken down. And that's good kickoff. It's brought it to a 4v3. 
<laughs> and another one by vacuum decay. Neano paying dividends. Goes into the bucky and the bucky gets the bucky misses. Tries to go for that ace, tries to get fancy, but gets taken down. But this is gonna be a six. This is gonna be a win. This is gonna go six five four has They're gonna keep some guns. Unless Sage needs to get out. Sage is waiting way too long. Sage needs to go down to this spike again. We've seen this a couple times. Might need might need to work on work on calling to get out. Work on their spike climbing. Cause they've lost a lot of money to that to that spike. But they're gonna be able to full buy here. So it's it does look like the defenders on IWU Academy are going to be full buy. It looks like Husky Gaming might pass to a 7 Eleven. Not not sponsored. <laughs> Again, raise fast and a fast. Ooh, and it's they four stack A. And Husky Gaming sees it and they get out. They're rotating. Are they gonna? Go, what are they gonna do here? The entire defenders team is pushing out A. Asher's going. Asher's gonna go through spawn and Killjoy is left alone on that B side. Vacuum Decay gets a pick off on the flank. Turret goes down. He sees her. Mary sees Killjoy. Game of the Guild pushes up into Killjoy. And that brings it to a 5v3. And they got out. Vacuum Decay gets another one through mid. And the last two going CT. But Vacuum Decay has... Vacuum Decay has turned on those aim hacks. Things... Util... Intel gathering has been wasted. One enemy remaining. A great shot for Mia, but she gets taken down by the sheriff. And that's okay. Takes down the third with a good shot. And that brings it to 7 Eleven. And they might be bringing this back. Now it's only two rounds in a row, but this is the last leg. They got a timeout call, but the timeout call, the last half, did work wonders for IWU Academy. So it's gonna be interesting to see what they're gonna do with this timeout. I believe I believe it was after round five, where after the timeout, uh, NIU did not win another round. So they they're definitely making use of their timeouts. They have a coach, which is definitely a valuable asset. Now they also have five. They have all five of their alts versus just the Kale Brimstone alt. And they, those definitely can do work, especially for pushing a site or post plant. So it's going to be interesting to see what they use if they're going to go for the brimhole post plant, or if they're going to try to use it to force someone off a site. Um, timeout. Timeout is done, and we're going to get back into the game. Go, go, go. And IWU. Puts three on A. Almost had four on it, which would have been a big mistake, but only three is definitely savable. Killjoy is still anchoring B. I think Killjoy has exclusively been on B so far. Vacuum Decay. Using that newfound confidence to try to push, try to get a P cat, and it would have worked if we waited a bit longer. Oh, Bates! Bates middle with the wall. And the rest of the team is going to start pushing up into B. And everyone has fallen off B. They're just using utility. Asher's the only one there. They got to push up. They have the time. Vacuum Decay. Going hard into sight. Going hard. Pushing into spawn. Sees Killjoy. He knows that the pre-fire gets the kill. The fade all comes out. The carol all comes out. If they don't... Vacuum Decay... Does not get a second one. Two dogs. Both dogs done. Frazal gets one. Braze gets a second one. Braze gets a third. And the goes. Oh my gosh. And Braze just blast packs onto site with the all. And it's three of them breaking the defensive. And that. And if 
that could have been stopped with the KO alt. And it just doesn't get just doesn't get going. Doesn't get going. And this brings us to match point 712. Definitely not over yet. They moved the the IWU Academy used three alts. They still have the Astral Alt and Killjoy Alt. So it looks like they're gonna use that Killjoy Alt on B probably this round to just force them off site. Vacuum Decay is gonna go for that fast pick onto Ray's. Tries to get some, tries to bait him, gets seen. Only sees one, so it looks like they're gonna soft root. It looks like they're gonna look for the rotate on the defender side. Vacuum Decay doesn't get anything, gets tagged. Sage doesn't see anything, gets tagged. And they're gonna push it onto site. They're pushing onto site fast. But aim of the util gets popped. Killjoy takes down two. Killjoy takes down a third. And this is all. And they leave Vacuum Decay alone. And he's got a 1v4 without the spike. And this looks like it might go. This looks like it might be the game. He's really going to have to show up. His aim is good, but is it this good? The Killjoy all. It's just not enough. Defenders win. And unfortunately, that goes down. NIU Black, NIU Husky Gaming Black goes down 0-2 to IWU Academy. And that is the end of the first game of Valorant, of NECC Valorant. Uh, an unfortunate, an unfortunate situation. You hate to see it happen. But these things happen. It's a game. They put up a good showing. Uh, you know, it, unfortunately, three <laughs> Vacuum Decay and Maria fragged out the second game. Game of Goom fragged out the first game. And if they had all, if they had all been on the ball, both games, they might have been able to win both. But it just wasn't. It was a little bit, little bit too late. And now, I'm going to check, I'm going to check Husky Gaming Black to see if the other team is still playing. Maybe. Uh, let's see if the other, let's see if the other game is still going. The other game is going. It looks to be it's currently a 3-0 on Icebox. All right. So the stream, this stream is done. Uh, I'm going to raid Husky Gaming Black, where <laughs> Husky Gaming Red is playing a team. I do not know. What team off the top of my head? I'm sorry. But thanks for sticking around. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for supporting Husky Game. Uh, I hope to see all of you again next week when Husky Gaming Red will be on the stream. It's gonna rotate every it's gonna rotate every week. So Husky Gaming Black this week, red next week. Black the third week, etc. So, good game to both the teams. And good game to everyone else. <laughs> Alright, have a good night, and see you next week.